This is my 2021 work from home desk setup. And by now you've likely seen it plenty of times, whether it be in a video on Twitter or ranking somewhere on a setup list. It's actually done that a few times. It's been quite popular since its inception last summer. This desk setup has become one of, if not the most intriguing topics on my channel. It truly changed the way that I think work and create. There was a lot of progress made this year in bringing this setup closer to my ultimate vision, a simple, productive workspace that's attractive, comfortable, and ready when I sit down to work. There's no thought that's needed to set up before a Zoom call, a stream, or for work. I just sit down and it's ready when I need it. That was my vision, my dream, my ultimate goal, and now it's better than it's ever been before. Let's talk about the gear that I'm using. If you've seen my desk setup videos before, you know most of what's here. It's a very modular setup. In fact, I would actually best describe what I have here as a large docking station. The GrowMade laptop lift I have is for docking my MacBook, iPad, or any other device that I want to use on the big screen. I'm not tied down to using just one device with this setup, and I love that. If it has a USB-C port and can connect to an external display, it's good to go. The main attraction here though is the Uplift V2 commercial sit stand desk. This is the thing that of course makes this setup possible. I have the 60 by 30 inch version in a gorgeous walnut wood finish. After over a year of use it still works and looks like new. It's the best desk that I've ever owned by far. The display I'm using is the 27 inch Dell U2720Q 4K USB-C display. This display is sharp, vibrant with accurate colors and has a multitude of ports to connect and charge your devices. A big advantage with it is that it does save a spot on my surge protector because I don't have to plug in my MacBook to charge it. The display sits on a Dell MSA20 monitor arm, which also doubles as my cable management tool to manage all of the cables from the tech on my desk. On top of the monitor is a BenQ screen bar plus. This light sits out of the way and can illuminate the entire surface of my desk at the press of a button. The screen bar plus is a clutter-free way to add some light and some flair to your setup. Underneath Underneath all of that, I have a Lenovo Smart Clock, an Elgato Stream Deck Mini, and my camera battery charger for easy access. The keyboard and mouse combo I'm using are the Logitech MX Keys and Master 3 Mouse. They are, simply put, the best keyboard and mouse combo that I've ever used. Not only are they extremely comfortable and increase your productivity, but they can also each be paired with up to three devices as well, making them awesome for the docking station idea here and all of the different devices that I use. They both sit on top of a small grow made wool desk pad and a larger Galloway leather desk pad. I'm sure I could just use one or the other, but both these desk pads pair very well and look great together. Something new I've been using is my new 2021 iPad mini. This little tablet is an awesome companion on my desk that I use very often to watch videos, browse the web, and even as an external display with my Mac. I use it on a Ugreen foldable tablet stand that's rock solid and has a wide range of motion for getting that optimal viewing angle. Also on the desk, there's my streaming gear, which includes an Elgato Wave 3 microphone on a Wave mic arm, two Elgato key lights, and my Sony A6600 mirrorless camera right behind the display. As for decor, there's not too much. There's two fake plants, a Banjo and Kazooie amiibo, an Oru kayak ornament, and a MOVA self-rotating globe. It really isn't too much, but it's a tasteful amount to add some personalization. The biggest addition to my setup this time around are the Nanoleaf Elements wood look panels on the wall behind the desk. The amazing team over at Nanoleaf reached out to me a few weeks ago and wanted to send me over a starter kit and an expansion pack, so I decided to give them a try. I didn't think much of them, and honestly, I really wasn't sure what to expect, but I can safely say that they just add a whole new dynamic to my setup. I think they complete it like never before. I always felt like there was something missing, but I couldn't pinpoint what it was. These panels, they made me realize that they were the missing piece. They truly changed everything. On top of that, they were super easy to install, are highly customizable with a number of built-in effects, and are extremely flexible so you can keep on adding them to create a unique look for your space. They are the thing I never knew my setup needed to take it to the next level, and it's all thanks to Nanoleaf that my setup looks better than it ever has before. With all this tech, you probably expect the cables to be all over the place, but the cables are also all nice and organized underneath the desk. I feel like a 
broken record when I say this, but cable management is the most important part of having a clean looking setup. If you're looking for some tips on how to manage your cables and get your setup looking like this, I recently made an ultimate cable management guide video that you can find over on my channel and linked in the description box down below. I think you'll find it to be quite helpful. So that my friends is my 2021 work from home desk setup. From cable management to slimming down on tech, there was a lot of progress this year in bringing the setup one step closer to my vision. Not only has it changed the way that I work, but also in the way that I think and create. I never expected to one day have a dedicated workspace like this. It's truly a testament to how far I've come and just all the work that I put in to get to this point in my life. It's motivational and if you set your eyes on something, you you too can achieve and live out your dreams. It's just an unbelievable feeling. Anywho, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did and you liked what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Also, don't forget to follow at Ray Strasis on Twitter and Instagram for much more. Until the next one, I will catch you guys later. Peace.